Well, last time you guys leveled up to seven, you made it through a perilous uh, midday winter storm, and you battled against Ursus Dogda and proved yourself worthy of having an audience with everybody here in the Kel village. And uh, also, Beatrix has a sister. What do you know? Well, aside from the other one. Gee, Beatrix, how come the Great Creator lets you have two sisters? <laughs> Beatrix is still unconscious in the middle of the village. Well, you guys were camping here, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But Beatrix fell unconscious after the battle. Well, yeah, still. were we camping, or did they give us a a hut? They just said teepee, you could stay. whatever. Well, they just said you. you, you they just you said guys... you guys could stay. You. You guys didn't ask for way. that because uh, as soon as it came up, Lara started citing uh, racial crime statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that despite making up 34% of the appalling <laughs> population, <laughs> the cows commit <laughs> 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 Oh, it's just um, held up more racist. We had the exact same racist quote in mind. <laughs> How and dare you? Lyra's a good girl. Fuck off, right, Lyra's. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Y you guys are on your own getting something to camp in, but you are allowed to camp in the area. Yeah. Well, I mean, we would have bought camping supplies, yeah. so... Yeah. We'd set up a tent. Uh, yeah, tent I, I, I have a tent if you guys want to borrow it. I'm, I'm, okay, cool. I'm not saying that gonna character start a character I'm unconscious, but... Hey guys, we should probably do something about Beatrix. I, I think she, she's been unconscious for like a week or something. We should, uh, <laughs> it's been like a few hours, on. Christmas. I, I'm saying like it it's feels been like minutes. it's been a week. It, it feels like it's been a week since Beatrix has Christmas, been Christmas lives on such a on a higher level of existence. Than I am going to be unconscious for. Two he lives hours on a lower level of existence. What are you talking about? Well, I'm down to one. I'm out of. I'm out of amount of uses of the heal thing. I can do, like, non-magical healing with bandages and shit. Yeah, so... I'm already stabilized, it's just... Man, if yeah, had like, can't we just rest to heal up? We don't need yeah. to drink stuff or whatever. Oh, I've got a new spell, guys. What should I get? Fire. Only one new spell? I get yeah, one probably. new spell, yeah. Yeah, sorcerers get, yeah, like, one, one spell per level after first level. And they don't get anything from right. spellbooks because wizards get everything. Yeah, basically. Uh, what do you think? Ego Whip's pretty good. Dominate Beast, Dimension Door. Yeah, sorcerers get nothing. That's what you get for coasting by on your fucking family name. Yeah. Well. Un unlike the Chad wizard who has to study for their. <laughs> Arcade what power. can you do? Oh, I could take another level three spell. Wait, sorry. Uh, yeah, guys, gonna. I guess I. I assume, uh, Jeremiah's would be the most likely location of all of Beatrix, uh, Beatrix's camping equipment. So. Yeah, he's, he's gonna. He's, a, he's got saddlebags. Well, he's gonna healers to wake Beatrix up with. So let's just put her in the tent. Yeah, and set up I mean, the tent. She's like... stabilized. She just passed out because she's fucking tired. We can't just leave her in the snow, can we? Yeah, then drag her! That's, That's what, what I just said saying we can do! do. Are just so literally we can do any of you strong enough to move me? Together I mean, we can. I mean, all fine. of us. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna we'll say, guys, is, uh... I mean, we can leave you in the snow if you want. Anyway, we sleep. Yes. Yeah. In, sh in, in shifts. Sure. To appease Lyra. <laughs> Yeah, you have a big, uh, shifty-eyed look around at these dirty, dirty Kel that you don't trust for some reason, even though that you're the God, invading imperialist. That gives me literally- you're just giving me reasons to distrust them, like... Uh, my actions make perfect sense. Why would I trust these guys? All my actions are those my of justice! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God damn it, knife! <laughs> Yeah, you sleep in shifts throughout the night, and uh, despite some very uh, high-pitched howling of the winds out here, you make it through without any hassle whatsoever, and you wake in the morning long rested. Uh, does that mean I'm healed? Because I'm, yeah. I'm at yes. five health. 
All right. That's what long rest means. Okay. I'm just Healed gonna... and back to full hit die. Uh, maybe. I don't remember how many hit dice you get back. It's half. Half your maximum. Right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ran it down? Sure. I think so. I'm pretty sure every time in this game it rounds down. That's unfortunate. So, uh... Here we are um, hell. as he as he usually would, guys would would wake up, pretty much at dawn, and like it's it's a bit different because he's not used to being in snow, but he still sort of goes through his like little morning meditation ritual sort of thing. Yeah, it uh, it is definitely a lot more temperately challenging than it normally is but you uh you try to work with what you have if, the, if anything he's on. he's glad for the the sort of to like be moving to like warm himself up yeah uh as the morning begins you can all see the chiefsiness emerge from her tent with uh a youngish child in her arms that she's carrying and she says well um, I suppose, yeah, no, worst time to, uh, start talking, hmm? Indeed. I'll, uh, gather the others, and Gas will do so. Sure. Where am I? Oh, right, we're in Kel again. Yep. Uh, alright, uh, okay. So Christmas is gonna... Wakey, wakey, everyone. Wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Can't tell me what to do. <laughs> does, does Beatrix wake up at last? No, she's dead. No, she, Beatrix has <laughs> hands I mean, on she, snakey. She, 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 would have, she would have woken up after eight hours. After a long rest. Cool. Let's talk. To this chieftain lady, who's apparently Beatrix's sister. Yeah, oh, she is right next to you, so. Okay. So. Hi. So you like uh, jazz? <laughs> so. You like jazz? This is a little. So, awkward. so, uh, so who talks first? Do I talk first? Do you talk first? Uh, yeah, she is right. sitting across from you all inside your tent, kind of on, uh, in a non-grand fashion, just letting herself in and sitting down and yeah. kind of just uh, adjusting how she's holding her daughter. Oh my god, Beatrix has a niece. Auntie Beatrix. Well, you have the floor. Oh. Uh, okay, so... Oh. Hi, my name is Christmas. Uh, just letting you know our little group comes in absolute peace and solidarity for the Kells. We apologize for what the Empire has done to you so far. Oh that does not represent our ideals. Uh, I Hopefully we can get along a little better. <sighs> Apologizing to us now for what the Empire has done is like using a bucket to help the motion of the ocean. It's Motion of the ocean, you say? <laughs> I suppose the gesture is more appreciated than nothing. Right. Uh, Look, you say you come so, in here in peace, but why were you assigned to come here? It's well, it's the will of the we were, a, but yeah, we we were assigned to come here to make an example. I suppose much what like. Is... They what what did they do with the do to that we had to go and kill them for? They stuck the heads on sticks of the yeah. local magistrates or whatever. Grain dollars. Magistrate, uh, grain that's dollars. it. Yeah. Grain dollars. Okay. Well, we we were sent to well make an example of you, much like you made an example of the Apollon <clears throat> Apollonas that you killed. <laughs> uh, yes. But there's also a deeper plan at play here, I feel. We feel. The oh. the man who assigned us, Claudius, 
we believe that he has plans in motion that threaten not just you, not just the Empire, but, well, all of Horizon. It would not surprise me to learn that the man of the Empire has ambitions that would cause the destruction of the world at large. But he's, he's no man of the Empire. He's far older than that. He's worn many faces. Again, and if I'm telling me a man like that is not human also does not surprise me. When, when he was last here, he took a pendant or charm from... The head priest? Hmm... How did you know that? You you disappeared after that. Um, I'm gonna look at Gaius. Well... Okay, Gaius took it. Yes. We don't know how, but... Well, I've had visions of the past, and this time... Both me and Beatrix... Had them. We saw the, the village when it was first... Subjugated by the Apollons, by Claudius. That was the day I lost my family, lost my sister. I had hoped against hope that because we never found her, she maybe ran away, found somewhere to be, but... Well, we all know where that ended. Our mother, the chieftainess, was killed, and... Well, after... Things died down, and we managed to return to some semblance of normalcy, and the survivors were allowed to rebuild. I was crowned chieftainess in all but a fashion. All just their attempt to appease us. Do you know where they took the pendant? He, no, he not yet. He said something about it turning the tide of every war <laughs> truth be told i did not know what purpose he could be using it for but i could ask my adoptive father that's who he was talking to when he explained what it why he was taking it your kidnapper more like i suppose she shakes her head. Well, to be honest, I'm not exactly <coughs> sure how you plan to get us amnesty for what we've done. I think before we mm -hmm. work out how we're going to solve this problem, we need to work out what exactly the problem is. Mm. Before we left, after we were given this mission, we were told that if we completed the mission that we'd been assigned then it would bring the end of the empire and potentially all of horizon i don't know how much stock you put in apollon faith but we were told this by the, the oracle who's well, she's seen the future before. I divorce my personal politics from the fact that if she can see what is to come, well, it must be the truth. So, our mission was specifically to kill you and anyone who followed you. If we did that, how would that cause the end of the Empire? Well... From what I can think, the other Big tribes would wish to retaliate. The reason we killed that uh, uh, grain dollar, well, in a way it wasn't his fault, but uh, he was making mention of us that more of our land was going to be taken, turned into those gods' woods of yours. Even more of us would have to be pushed into their villages for us. I. Admit it was an impulse, but, well, I broke his neck right there and decided we weren't going to be taking it anymore, whatever the consequences were beyond that. 
To live in their bondage was not something I would abide by at that point. From there, the tribes would rise up and I imagine a secondary campaign would finally come into this place and, well, escalation. I am not a seer. I cannot tell you what would happen. But I think I mean, beyond... The the kill as they are now, if there was a second campaign, I, I doubt there would be much left. Afterwards. I think it goes beyond retaliation. If you've been granted a vision of what this man, who, if he is as inhuman as you say, and this thing that he stole from us is as important as he believes, I think the fact you've been granted this knowledge because of the course you have taken, that is what separates you from the path that leads to annihilation. The other thing that I was thinking is... What if the reason that it would cause ruin for all of Horizon is because Gaius would die? Why would he Say die? what? Why would Gaius die? I mean... Well, if we get in a war with any nations, obviously we would be get if he scripted the fight and if we fight there's a chance to die not even that if you're saying that you really if... think that there would be a chance of us beating everyone in this village shrug probably not all things considered uh we're sort of outnumbered and we would have just fought I think it goes I think it goes beyond just me as as far as a, as I am Beatrix I think we're all a part of this puzzle Ew. why does important stuff keeps happening around me seems fate has bigger plans for all of us yeah it sucks shit there's not much we can do to change it. Speak for yourself, I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, see ya. Peace out, guys. <laughs> this world kinda sucks, I'll see you in the next one. And not just- and not- for, I feel fate doesn't just have a plan for us, but for you as well, and he'll nod to, um... Hey, say your name again. Oh, uh, Achieved Good nurse. Gudrun Tiraigba's daughter. Gudrun. Yeah, here, and he'll not to Gudrun <laughs> as he says that. Whether, whether we succeeded and, well, completed our mission as was specified, or we failed and died, either, either way, I feel Claudius's plans would have been able to continue unabated. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Well... We did. We did fight an aspect of Ursa Daga. That wasn't the mission, was it? Exactly. The Empire can hardly blame us for being beaten back by the the strongest. Oh, okay. So when you complain offer. about bad intel, it's okay. But when I bitch about bad intel, I get it in the neck from everyone. I see. How well, it it's is. it's less bad intel. It's okay when, when more... magical arm boy does it. <laughs> Pride of the Empire. I'm gonna punch Lyra what? in the face. <laughs> what was that this for? Ow. This one uh, very much likes the comfort she has in the Empire, doesn't she? Hmm. Do I look like look, a when you... fish? I mean, this... like a cold weather fish. <laughs> this is the wrong kind of climate. <laughs> I am going I'm... to turn belly up and die. <laughs> Please do. She just, she just glances down to the fact she's holding a literal, like, eight-month-old in her arms and say, You do know that this child right here is handling conditions better than you are and you're a young adult, yes? Great. I wasn't born for the cold weather. Right. You know? And back the, to more important matter. The Empire is fucking Arctic. I mean... It, it is. I mean, like, it's surrounded by Arctic, but the Empire itself isn't. That's the point. It's like a no, miraculous, like... No, Helios isn't. The rest of the Empire is. Nah, I suppose. Well, fine, whatever. 
But anyway, I do have a point in the fact that, you know, bad intel wasn't any excuse that was accepted last time, so why would it be accepted this time? Well, because you succeeded in that mission. Mm. Exactly. So I feel like he'll be even less I mean, accepting of it if we do su if we don't succeed. I mean, he was accepting. You, you just started complaining to him. You weren't he wasn't. You weren't excusing a failure. You were just bitching. Whatever. I I believe that with the right tact we can <laughs> come out of this. Well, I don't know if it, in his good books is the right word, but come away from this I mean, without we'll arousing lie. suspicion. Yeah, we'll I mean, be alive. Yeah, all that too. Won't they just send... They're much more likely to send an even bigger force next time, though, aren't they? That is true. And, the um... People who don't have guy, uh, compunctions. Guys will turn back to Gudrun. When they hear that we were beaten back, like Lara said, it's incredibly likely that they'll send a much stronger force to, well, roll over you. Can't you just move to a different area or something? That might work. She glances <laughs> out the tent towards the grounds and says, I suppose in the dead of night, yes, we could leave this camp, find another place to be, and continue to move around. I know it's hardly ideal, but it might be the best option you have. <laughs> oh, you think we're so attached to this place? Well, I'll admit I know little of Kel customs, so... When the food runs dry, when the deer move elsewhere, when there is any reason we need to move, we move. Yes, yeah, sentimentality may divorce us briefly from the idea of wanting to leave, but survival goes far beyond the comforts that sometimes we wish to enjoy. So, well, with any luck, this will certainly lead to your steps. survival. <laughs> I wish we could do more to help here, but... As kind as you all have been, I would like I would be much more likely to spit in your hand and accept help. It is our way. That's fine. That, that, that explains some oh. things, and Gaius is going to glance at Beatrix when he says that. Nothing. Something's been bothering me by about this situation too. Hmm. Why would Claudia send me here to test your loyalty? Yeah, she probably failed. Well, that seems like an incredibly risky test, especially considering that putting aside me, Christmas and Claudius. Christmas and Lyra are constantly getting bitched out by Claudius for insubordination. Yeah, but I don't have family ties to rebels, do I? I... Also, like you said, it may well be that us dying was the re like the purpose he wanted to get out of this mission. Either, either we die and he's happy, or we succeed and... We've proven ourselves useful to him by crossing off one more. Or, or in this case, we come back failures and... What if he I doesn't know, probably... want us to succeed? That seems very likely. Well, no. If he, want, if he wanted... He still needs if, me for something. If the goal that he wanted was success, then he wouldn't use such an important mission as a test of loyalty. Maybe it wasn't a test of loyalty then. Maybe he just doesn't care. Like, you know. He doesn't care that I'm from here, and that no, maybe just not, maybe just not on his radar. You know, bigger things to worry about. I mean, I'm on his radar enough to give me it's a mission. You're clearly like bum buddies or something. <laughs> you're on his radar. Yeah, but not like you know in a in a traitorous way. You know, like a, I seem to piss him mm -hmm. off. Way. I mean, sort of a traitor. Insub like. Insubordination is not trade. Tra tra it's not. It's not uh, tra I don't. Tra I don't know about that. It literally isn't. It's just being rude. Not. Not all people who are insubordinate are traitors. Another thing we need to. But consider. most traitors would be insubordinate. I mean, if you count as slitting the commander's throat as insubordination, then <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Just... Are they going to be marching up and down on their intent to betray everyone before I'm they just... betray everyone? If Gaius can I'm just saying. Claudius. Perhaps Claudius could recognize Gaius, and has known about 
what's going on with him ever since he arrived at the academy. Oh, well, that's cool. I, uh, I don't... don't think I can properly guess for all of you what his purposes were towards all of this, but I believe the information you have gained will be enough in order to do something about his plans. Provided you How all have the will to that? stop him. It is just a feeling. I cannot say it is true or not. Do you have any spellcasters well, in the village? The Claw Mother? Why? Would she, Would she be able to transform someone's head into someone else's in a way that's permanent? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask this? So we could get a fake head and pretend it's yours. <laughs> if they think I... we've succeeded the mission, then they won't send any more forces here. As much as I appreciate the offer to attempt to save our hides, I think going on the move would be a much better plan for all of us. We can do end. both, can't we? If they know you're still alive, they'll keep sending people after you. Even if you can I... avoid them, the rest of the Kel can't because they won't know it's coming. As much as I appreciate uh, the offer, we are not... How many villages are going to be burned in the hopes that it draws you out? Or just as much to as send I appreciate... a message? As much as I appreciate how far you are willing to go for me, we are not swaddled babes that need to be looked after. We can handle ourselves. Maybe a war it's... we cannot win with them, but survival is something we have done for the past decade. It makes it easier for us to... Oh, you well, by all means. You survived because you haven't antagonized them. Leaving you alive is antagonism. <laughs> I think if what you are saying is true about this man, then peace may not be a lasting idea either way. Until he's out of the picture. This is beyond Claudius now. The situation this in the is... Kellands is an issue that all of the Legati would have an interest in. Ev not just the Grand Legati, not just the Emperor, not just Claudius. Anyone in the military would want to stamp out rebellion here. Like I said, I will handle it. Whether you trust me to su succeed or not, I suppose is just a matter of trust. But I have spoken, and that is my opinion on the matter. I will not budge on this. I will have to get ahead from somewhere else then. Or again, just sprinkling elements of truth to to our lie. Say that the the Spectre of Ursadaga beat us back. Oh yeah, because I definitely won't get them interested. If well, I, if, like I said... We probably have the, inqu we have we, the bloody Inquisition down here or something. Look, if Gudrun has, has, has faith that... that... Summoning heretical gods that's going to piss them off even more. So look, no mention Ursa Doctor, I guess. <sighs> look. This is a terrible, messy situation with no clean way out. I think we just lie and say we succeeded in the mission. As long as... But if Gudrun still running around, then how long will that lie hold up? As soon as it discovers we're painting a target on our backs. How often do Apollons come around here, Gudrun? Well, ever since we murdered one of their dolors, they have avoided us, but that was a few short weeks ago. After your mission succeeds and word gets back, I cannot say. Just pretend you're someone else anytime they come round here. Or yeah, stay can you sight. do like disguises? Not even disguises, just pretend you're someone else. As long as they think you're dead. Do you really think they sent you on this mission without asking for proof of my death? We've gotten away with it before. And you're the one who doesn't want to give us a head. They can't just be... Lyra. We've gotten away with it, but Claudius was 
certainly suspicious of it. If we keep coming back from missions without proof, he's going to catch on. Yeah, I... because Beatrice lost the body, didn't she? Mm. No, she didn't kill the person. Lyra the struck the killing blow with a bolt of lightning and vaporized her body there. Uh, he'd, he'll know I don't have ball of lightning, though, probably. How would he know your spell? I don't know. He's the tactical genius. Maybe he tacticalized them out. Why haven't you there's taken a, lightning bolt? But oh, also, is it a fucking spell that tells you what people know? Well, there should be. Okay, call Wizards of the Coast. Claudius doesn't know. Okay. Even if it's not proof of Gudrun's demise, they'd still he'd still want proof somehow. Uh, we can't really exactly so, to buy really the so fact that I'm saying that you reduced me to ash. You could just grab some from the fire pit in the village. Can you discern wood ash from human ash easily? I don't think so. There isn't like forensics in this universe. <laughs> human ashes would have bones in it. <laughs> CSI Apollon. Fuck. I'm just gonna walk out of the village. Okay. okay. Where is uh, your calling? Just down to the woods. Sure. She may she may be sometime. I'm gonna beat the shit out of some trees. Uh, make a athletics check. Yeah, you you make a fist sized crater in the bark of the tree. Fuck. I'm gonna melt some snow Christ. and make root make root shapes with that. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, excuse me, uh, Gundren. Now that we have a low and complicated conversation, could I ask you a personal question unrelated to anything right now? Yes. Have you ever seen a cart that's selling jelly anywhere in this area? What? The only <laughs> carts that come through here were the ones that for the dolls. I am afraid I cannot help you with this matter. Christmas, right, if you want us back, I think we're going to have to wait till the mission is over. It's, Jesus it's Christ, not a, Christmas. Don't be such a fucking chunky bastard. It's not a, it's not a snack. It's a Christmas is gonna do like a little bow to Gundren and say, uh, "Thank you very much." Don't suck up. Don't worry about it. He's being a nice fucking kid. Shut up. I was gonna say you're just being a rude bitch. Same for Beatrix's sister. Disgusting. You just met her. <laughs> she has a kid. I think that implies. Oh, milf. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it does imply milf. She's right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she has a yeah. point. Anyways. Okay, well, so what's what's the plan here? We <sighs> faking these guys' death? Well, or are we saying we, we got beaten? Are you do need to settle on a story, otherwise we can't exactly play ball with the other half of it. Exactly. Mm. Do we say we were beaten by their god? Or... Do we say we succeeded and bring back a bag of ashes? If we can back saying saying if we, we can... failed leaves holes in our story if they ever find out that Gudrun is alive. Why don't we just kill an animal so we just and ashes. burn it and burn it for the bones in the ashes? Christmas uh, Okay, but that doesn't get around the What the fuck, Christmas? It makes sense. Could you shut the fuck up? For one minute! What? I'm contributing to the plan! We're not killing these people! Oh no, my god, you an animal. Open your ears. An animal. I said put some dead animal bones in the ash to make it look like it's from a human. Oh, well. I, I don't take back that hint. You deserve that, regardless. I'm gonna punch Christmas in the dick. <laughs> oh my god. It hurts. He's gonna beat his dick. He makes the, uh... Whatever the noise is. My infinity stones! <laughs> yeah, a nearby dog covers its eyes. Stan Lee turns around and says, Excelsior! Okay. Oh, sorry, Nuff okay, said. I'm that's sorry, what I'm he sorry. says. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea, but like, 
Are we really going to waste time just picking up animal bones? Well, we have to make it authentic, right? That's the other thing, the question of time. The, the longer we spend here, the more they'll get suspicious to what actually went down. I suppose you're right. Well, you it's only been on the night thing off. soon. I mean, I have a major image. I don't know how well that will work, though. You have what? Uh, out of character, no. No? Okay. Okay. Major wow. image doesn't last forever. Okay. That's what I thought. I was looking it up right now. Okay, so I guess we have to go hunting a little bit. Why don't we send Beatrice hunting? I mean... She can turn into it like a bear or something. Should or we could all do it because we're a team. Yeah, but or perhaps we could just she'll ask be better than whether any of us. they have some animal bones lying around. I'm I mean, sure they do. Oh uh, yeah. Mix oh. some ash in with it. It should be good enough. We did make some soup last night. I imagine there's still some in one of the pots around. Thank you. Didn't we ask for bones, not soup? I no, bones. Bones um... are bones are used to make soup. What since when? I didn't say that's how stock. broth is made. Yeah, yeah. stock broth. Yeah. Well, I make stock out of vegetables. Okay, so Harrod's gonna go collect some bones. Lyra's gonna see if the control water works on the soup. Well, it's an empty pot, so. Oh, there's um... no soup left. Damn it. Yeah, they <laughs> had it left. Left. Right. There could be leftovers, I don't know. No. no. Okay, so with the gathered bones, she's gonna scoop some ash into like. Uh, like cloth of linen. I was, like, I just throw the bone, like throw the bones on the fire to make them look charred. Sure. No, sure. break them up into little pieces and burn them. They'll be able to tell animal bones from human bones. That too. Y you guys really think this shit's like CSI Miami up in here? Oh my god! Even like fucking people who lived in the Stone Age could have animal bones from human bones. Especially well, soldiers who know what human fragments. bones look like. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if they like big, Rug, big wait, whole bones. Look over here. Body not here. This be this bull bone. Too long I'm to sorry, be. I'm sorry. A fucking too long bone to be man bone. From a human bone. They'd be able to tell. I mean, that's why we like. That's why eating like. If it's got you know, like a fucking cat skull in it, and it just says, "Oh yeah, this is a chief's dinner." She was actually a fucking cat. That's why the bones are all from cats. Okay. Grog think, think this they play. Like, think they did it for stick and berry insurance. Okay. I you All have I a point. Abuse for my very I just reasonable thought points. it was assumed that we wouldn't put in fucking animal skull. Well, whatever. Okay, <laughs> like, I was going to go salt. I was going to go salt because everyone always dunks on her ideas. <laughs> <laughs> At least Aeolus will talk to you. No, you're going to kill him. I, you can't. I'm going to kill him and eat him. Oh, I Do think you I know how a... hard it is to kill an air gin? No, I thought that was a creepy guy. If he's an air gin, just breathe him in. <laughs> Can I smoke him? It's not hard. <laughs> just vape a genie, you... why not? Can I, can, I vape, can I vape my no. genie? No, no, no use his genie. like a really no, bad his... like, TV show. Like, vape my genie. <laughs> oh, Sigma, use his genie. Guy got... a bong. His gen... Yeah, no, his genie lives inside his vape. Oh, I hate that. He's I sold. hate this. It's going to be a terrible, terrible conversation. Of... And we're not even he out of jail his... yet. He solves his problems with a combination of Apple technology and his genie vape. Yeah, that's what like Sigma opened her eye and she's like looking like into the future right now. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you, you get your uh, charred animal bones to try and move this fucking session forward. Well, thank you. And there's some nice fond on the bottom of the pot. Do you want to Whoa. deglaze with some dry white wine? <laughs> Hell yeah. I think we'll pass. Okay. <sighs> I think we're about ready. Seems that unless, way. Unless, Beatrix, you want to talk to your sister a little bit more before we leave? Isn't she still in the woods? I'm still in the woods. Did she come? Yeah, she's you still in the woods. Her. Hey, hey, Beatrix! Um, Let's just we're, feel. We're just about to leave. Just follow the broken trees. <laughs> hey V. Uh, Beatrix, you're uh, getting your name called. 
I'm gonna head over to where my. We're, we're about to head out. Did you wanna. Let's talk to Gudrun before. Yeah, you... Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be. I was waiting for it at the edge of the village when you're done. Sure. Yeah, and Lyra will shut the fuck up, I promise. What was I gonna say? Yeah, or I'll Nothing. shut her up. Go get everything ready to leave. Radio Chief. I'm gonna pull some yeah. splinters out of my knuckles. No, it look, you know, look more authentic. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to look up, look a little beat up if we're gonna. Oh wait, no, no. I mean, I think that we don't look beat up. Or... Don't, don't listen to me. No, I, we I, did. I, get, I we up. did get beaten up Christmas. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, no, I did. I mean, like, that was, obviously, that was, mechanically, we're back at full health because of the long rest, but like, yeah, we look beat up, right? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be one of those weirdos. It's like, actually, you have to be at half health in order to make have the appearance of someone being beat up. Well, also, like, some injuries, even if you're like healthy and can do things in real life, like they still appear on you and shit. So, like, and, like okay. you can operate like, pretty. So yeah, some, of with some, by, some of you guys got struck by lightning and knocked out. Like you have it, you have injuries. Okay, cool. That's that's what that's what I'm checking. You're alone with your sister and her baby. <laughs> her very marketable uh, baby daughter, who will be the highlight character of the episode because of all the in between frames of her. <laughs> um. Hi. Hello? Uh, of all the things that I expected to find here... A sister wasn't one of them. I did not imagine that, uh... Well... I didn't know I was ever going to see you again, so, uh... I suppose the feeling is mutual. What a sh fucking shitty situation. <laughs> Is that how you view it? I think it's a good thing. I mean the fact that I've got to go back to Helios and well, deal with all as this uh, shit again. As it has been explained to me a very long time ago by our chieftain is before us, and our head priest. Life is uh, many good things and many bad things through winters and summers alike. You cannot choose when it is good, and you cannot choose when it is bad. But you can always choose to survive it all the same. Hmm. And, uh, well, if you're my sister, as I know you are, I imagine you're going to tough it out. Yeah, about that. You knew who I was when you looked at my neck, didn't you? I did. How? She, uh, kind of pulls down a bit of the neck on her, uh, curace, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and says, We are all, uh, given these tattoos at a young age. Most of them are for protection, toward off disease, it, many different things. Yours, well, I'd never forget them. They were, um, they were there to make sure you would always come back to us, eventually. What about these weird line ones? Well, uh... Those ones are, uh, representative of your ancestor, who you share a soul with. Oh. We all have a spirit of one of our ancestors protecting us from childhood on until the day we die. And yours was Dimitri Dragfinir Catelson. He was mighty, a bit headstrong, very devout, conflicted, uh, many things I imagine you can Throw parallels too. I see. But uh 
Well, I imagine you don't have the time for a history lesson right now. Not right now. I should probably get back to the others. Of course. Um, one last thing. Mm -hmm. When you are able to, obviously it matters not if it is in months from now or years, but when you can, please come find us again. I would, I would be full glad to have you in my life again in earnest, even for a short time. I will. Well, and until then. Hopefully, the next time I'm here, I won't be trying to protect the Empire. Fuck tall, my sister. You too. She nods and uh, leads you out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the others. So, how was your family? meeting thing uh about as good as you can expect yeah I, I don't have any family problems so I, I don't <laughs> know what to expect I think that you not having any family problems is your family problem it's a joke of course they have family problems don't you not have a family uh it's not my arc, so uh, we'll save that for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He just turns to the camera and says that. Shall we get going? Back to the airship mm. then. Yes, let's. Yeah. Who has the the ashes? Uh, it's you, isn't it? I guess Harriet, right? Yeah. She was the one. Do, do you want to the bones and stuff? Do you, do you want to keep a hold of that, or...? Um, I can hold on to it, but I really shouldn't be the one to tell them. I don't yeah. feel comfortable lying to their face. It's not that's... Me. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Give it here. I'll, I'll do yeah. it. Guys, okay, it hands yeah, hands it to guys. So, does anyone want to make a bet about how, how likely this is to work? Uh, we'll we'll just play it by ear, I guess. Sure. Play it I'm by pretty... fear, because you're all scared it won't work. Well, we don't really have any other options, so... I, I still say saying we failed is a better plan, but if this is what you all want, then... I'll just say well, no. if we, we failed, them. they'll come back here. Well, yeah, but that's why we told them to stay on the move. That doesn't are solve you, the problem. Are they, I'm not, you really think Claudius is going to listen to us? I'm not particularly worried about them specifically getting hurt. I'm worried about them just burning down a bunch of random Kel villages to send a message. Look, if we, if we create a so-called power vacuum, they have no reason to come back here. Yeah, fair. Well, this has been a... a Stressful campaign. Let's let's all go home and just go to prom. I don't Winter. think you can call three hours in three hours in the woods a campaign. Wasn't three stressful. hours whatever a day in the woods. Stressful campaign. I can't wait to find out what mission we're gonna get sent on next. Um, I don't know. Ethnic cleansing in the near us whatever. That's what this mission was. <laughs> And more ethnic cleansing more then. Ethnic, more Super ethnic, ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing. Well, you're the one that signed up for this job. No one signed up for so this job. So did you. We were all drafted. <laughs> That's how yeah, this works. all conscripts. I was okay. gonna say, uh, mandatory conscription is a thing in this, uh, Lyra, Lyra is the one that is constantly, no, no, I volunteered. I signed up. I'm not con a conscript. Have I said that? Yes, repeatedly. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess so. Yeah, but like, you know, your daddy's the one doing all the nasty orders and stuff, isn't he? He's a big man. Not anymore, he's retired. He used to be. Yeah. My dad's a fisherman. The only ethnicity is he cleanses the fish. Mm. I mean, you're half of that, but anyways. Alright, so you guys are heading back to uh, Albus and yep. fellas? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll I think when I get boys. back to Helios, I'm going to have to have a talk with my father. Yeah, so 
you guys head on through the winding woods in similar fashion to last time. A little less uh, stressful than last time, as you don't have defenses to run through and also not an angry god throwing lightning bolts down at you. Um, eventually, you breach to the outside of the village, and uh, you can see some of the guards inside uh, milling about still, uh, and... Albus is st uh, leaning against one of the buildings, just uh, on a pipe, kind of looking like he would rather be anywhere else right now, so far for the course for him. Mission completed, sir. And guys, so... Did, did we put the ashes in, like, a bag, or... Yeah, I, such a no, no, it's imagine just you did. How else would you just have a palm full just of ashes? Yeah, yeah. No, he's just got them in his mouth and just, like, mission completed. <laughs> <laughs> we caught the red... Oh, <laughs> I'm just making sure, and he's gonna he's gonna patch, pat the like bag on his hip. Uh, fuck is that? Uh, it's what's left of the chieftainess of that tribe of barbarians. Thanks Ugh. to Lyra. What the? Fuck? He just yeah. kind of makes a face at a and takes a puff and says, "That's uh." That's a bit disgusting, but hey, whatever you want to do, I suppose. We thought it would be best to bring some proof of completion back. Yeah, you as know, much like, as we salt, can salt. in this form. Yeah, we had to, like, salt the earth. Make sure nothing gross there. You make know sure what, I... fair enough, I suppose bringing back a severed head would actually be a lot more disgusting now that I think about it. Mm. And that severed heads aren't the... The... Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun to deal with. Yeah. All right. I'll have one of the boys send up a flare to get your airship down here. Uh, what was his rank again? Uh, I think he's just a captain. I don't remember if there's a specific. I was say, yeah. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he walks over to one of the other uh guardsmen about to heads over to a tower and is going to fire off a rudimentary flare gun that explodes in a lovely little firework up into the sky. And in about a half hour, a you guys can hear an airship start to descend down towards all of you and land in the docking area. Surely there'd be some magical thing you could do that would be a good equivalent of a flare. I mean, it would have a flare. It's just magic? a firework. Fireworks are just chemicals. Yeah, I guess the honey will wait for the airship. Well, also, if it's not magical, that means more people can do it, because you'd need, like, a yes. wizard or whatnot to do it. Uh, yeah. So, the airship finally uh, descends and lands, and a engineer, similar to the last one, but a different person, walks out and says, Okay, uh, are you all the fellows I'm bringing back to the uh, academy? That's us. Hey, okay, wonderful. Uh, I'm Sextus. I'll be your pilot. Please don't I'm, make fun I'm of sorry, the name. I'm sorry, what was your name? Sextus. Look, we all got names in <laughs> order, okay? And I was the seventh. <laughs> isn't Sextus sixth? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Wait, isn't Sextus seventh? No, that would be Septus. Okay, sorry. I was oh, sixth. Oh, that sounds terrible. Okay. <laughs> Hot I'm going to the airship. Uh, guys is going to lean over to the others and say, "It sounds like his parents should have stopped having sex." To... <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> he <laughs> grumbles and mutters something about not telling you guys when to put your safety restraints on. <laughs> hey, guys, that's the the good name to, I know, to say but it behind to that. the rest of you. In re the rest of you weren't exactly uh, understanding. Anyways, he uh, is going to head up to the top deck, and you can feel the rumblings beneath the airship as it starts to take off as uh, a very curt, all right, strap in, as it takes off very shortly afterwards to the point where you can't really strap in if you weren't prepared for already. Oh, cool. So we're, we're lying down the hold, right? Who breaks, yeah. who breaks their neck? Mm -hmm. All of you. Dex so, in, in 
a, a low voice just to make sure they're not overheard. Um, I mean, theoretically, they would have spoken about this on the, the walk back, but we didn't have the conversation. So, um, so are we still going with the Lyra lightning bolt, lightning bolted um, her to ash, or yes, yeah, that's that's okay. a little that gives uh, Lyra and Claude his good, good graces. And plus, we've already started weaving our lies. No point in turning back now. Yep. So, sounds no, I'm just, just making sure because I don't think we have actually confirmed that's what we were going to go with. Oh, I thought we did. Oh. Then, yeah, and yeah uh, Lyra, you, you are the big murderer today. You murdered a bunch of people. Oh, cool. Good for me. Maybe you'll get a medal for it. Be one way to get in quality of books, at least. They're gonna call you Lyra my... the Butcher. I wasn't butchering, it was like frying. Or, or you know. You fuck it. Uh, a hell of a immolating, I believe, is the proper word. That's the one. Yeah, the immol Lyra, Lyra, Lyra the immolator. immolator. Just the, bring the, immol the, immol the immolator. Yeah, I was gonna say Emily. <laughs> the airship ride is of about a similar uh, length to the last one, and your uh, pilot is definitely a lot less chatty with all of you than Octus was. So, uh. <laughs> Not because we were worried about his name. Ch chuckling to himself about Sextus. He doesn't know what sex is, by the way. He's gonna, like, drop us in the ocean. Uh. Yeah, the. The hatch in the hold is just gonna fucking open. <laughs> in in a matter of hours, you f begin your final descent. Unannounced, by the way, you can just suddenly feel it drop for a solid three minutes before yeah. you realize, oh, it's because we're landing. Uh, and eventually you return to the makeshift landing pad of the academy. The, uh, the gangway opens up and you can hear the pilot just kind of uh, grumble and say, "All right, you're here." Thanks, Sextus. <laughs> Thank you. Sextus. I hate dealing with these undisciplined fucking academy kids every <laughs> goddamn year. What's his rank? Uh, he's an engineer. So. Have you considered Thanks, a engineer career? Lately, yes. Gonna turn this guy into a school shooter. Right. Uh, I guess we're going directly to Claudius then. I guess. So did word get sent ahead for Claudius? And like, is Claudius meeting us here, or do we have to go to his uh, office? So you, as you uh, exit the gangway, several of the students are kind of waiting on the interim. You imagine they were all already out and about and saw the airship coming down, so they decided to head on over. Chief among them all, Matilda is going to head over and say, Oh, um, I... You're all back? I... Ooh. Um, you all, uh... She kind of... It was her way. She kind of gently reaches a finger out and brushes uh, one of your heads and says, Is this burnt? Uh, yeah. It's a little... Uh, singe from the lightning. We the had to... lightning. Yeah, there yeah, was uh... a bit of a storm. Did you know uh, that? Did you know that you can have a snowstorm and a thunderstorm at the same time? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. It's it's crazy I... how how that happened. Kel is a horrible place. Uh, and uh, Zona will step up from the crowd that's formed and say, "Woo, uh." Yeah, you really look like you got put through a scorcher in the middle of a snowstorm, which, uh, I guess that's a bit of a laugh achievement if you all want to call it that. I think we're just happy to get back here safe and sound. Cool, cool. Uh, well, congratulations on, uh, succeeding, you guys. You sure do got a bit of a rising star around these parts. I'm trying not to get a big head. Pride cometh before a fall and all that. Oh, come on, we're postgraduates. What are they going to do to us, demote us? 
Yeah, what are they going to make us do? Go through... <laughs> I mean, they could, like... Miss you again. Exactly. Make us repeat. <laughs> uh, and... Kind of, Claudius. uh... Go on. Sorry. Kind of, uh, leading the back of the group and coming in is, uh, Marcus, who is going to look down at you all and, uh, well, mostly because of his height, not because he's being smug, um... And he's going to glance to Harriet and say, Ah, um, good to see you're all back. It's good to be back. Uh, and as soon as you say that, he is going to open his mouth to say something before turning heel and walking away. Oh my god, he turns heel! <laughs> he, turns, he just beats up the fucking heels! Oh, no. uh, yeah, he, he, Garrett... he turns around and he RKO's Christmas. My God! Oh, I don't know. I don't know man. Yeah, he was hiding a steel chair. He was making in his free time in the black suit <laughs> shop. <laughs> Would you like to see this new invention I've that, created? That's, a, that's <laughs> gotta be a homebrew magic item that somebody made, like a collapsible steel chair to smack people with. That's great. Steel totally. chair of collapsing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that a thing. Just from my next gimmick character. Hey, um... My god, the chair! Shit, uh, I realized the best way to play a wrestler would play a monk, but I wanna, don't want to play a monk for a third time. <laughs> I was gonna say, there is like a grapple monk class, isn't there? There has to be. Anyways, um, and finally, leading up the last of the people to head over is uh, Gareth, who says, Ah, you, you've all made it back, and not a moment too soon. I... Well, what do you um, mean a moment too some, soon? Well, some people were uh, illicitly deciding to bet which of you would make it back alive or not. I decided not to participate in these gamblings, but, well, the point stands. People were starting to get worried. You were gone for one day. Well, uh, Kellans are fraught with danger, of course. You know, you really should have told us. Okay. More than one day, right? I uh, didn't. Wouldn't it have been like at least a couple of days, the entire journey there and back? No, it was like only, not. It was only like, like a, a few hours. hours. No, no, no. As in terms of when we got on the air tri airship at the 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 time that's elapsed between us leaving the academy and coming back is a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, the point stands, it was a short period of time. Which I suppose it's good we didn't know about it. I probably would have lost a whole lot of money betting the, betting against Lyra coming back alive. <laughs> I certainly think you wouldn't say that about one of your own compatriots, uh, Matilda's yeah, well, I mean, snicker, though. Certainly, it's not, Lyra. certainly not the person who struck the, the killing blow on the chieftainess. I will see... By all means, you should be congratulating her, then, for the reason that your mission succeeded. Uh... It was a team. Even no, it, so. Was so it was so disgusting, it traumatized them all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I apologize for uh, reminding you of it. Yeah. She fully exploded, like... Just everywhere. Then... <laughs> <laughs> Try not to remember it, Lyra. You don't need to go into these now. I'm sure Gareth doesn't need to hear this. I think I got a bit of, like, charred La hair in my mouth. Uh, as the conversation winds down... The, you, the funny uh, thing is, this is 100% in, in character for Lyra. Uh, you can finally see the crowd kind of part ways as Claudius is starting to make his way through as he says well 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 as he sees him approaching guys will straighten up and try and appear as formal as he can is I forget is saluting a thing uh it, it can be but I mean he's well, he say, you're, yeah, you're not meeting him for the first time so yeah. a little bit of informality is okay Beatrix is going to vomit Hmm. Oh, uh, hmm. Jesus. Right. Apologies. 
What's going well, on? Well, at least it wasn't within the school grounds. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, apologies, sir. While we yeah, made we, it uh... all back, it certainly wasn't a uh, easy mission. But we have completed it, as you asked. And Gas will, like, take the, the bag of ashes and bone shards off his belt and hold it out. And this is yeah. all that remains of the chieftainess of the Kel. He takes it and kind of pulls the string to open it up and looks in and says, My, that's, uh... He pulls one of the bones out for a moment, kind of just turning it in his hand. Bone not, shards. like, not, bone like, shards. closely... Not closely inspecting it, but just, like, you know, uh... No, when it's bone shard. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, well... I, and he yes, noticed that his uh, previously white gloves are a little stained with the soot and says, oh, I really shouldn't have done that. Well, I must say I was not expecting this method of death being confirmed, but I suppose it does work all the same. Um, Madam, are you uh, all right? He gestures to Beatrix. I was going to have something for you, but if you need to go to the infirmary... I'm fine, I think... I'm just not good at flying. I'll keep that in mind during your next assignment, then. Um, well, I was speaking with your father recently, and uh, he finally signed off on this, so it is my pleasure to bestow upon you this. He uh, reaches into his pocket and hands you a very uh, folded over uh, yellowed document, Kind of, like, printed that way. It's not old, but, um, he hands it over to you. I'm gonna take a look at it. It requires your signature, but other than that, just bring this to any nearby blacksmith and they'll be happy to oblige you. Uh, it is a gunblade license. Oh, what? Wow. Wow. Does Truby even know how to use a gunblade? Yes, I'm a fighter. I'm proficient in every weapon. Oh. Cool. That's their whole thing. They're, they can well, do also, everything. Well, also, the point of the license is it would give you proficiency in it anyways. I mean, I, I would assume it's not out of the question that in uh, martial training, they would learn how to use gun blades. At yeah. least, like, you know, it'd be a highly level thing. Yeah. Thank you of course, much. you'll have to get it made and you have to get it made and weighted for your swing and what or not, but, uh, well, that's something to figure out on your own time. Now, Beatrix can do juggle to keep her combo going. <laughs> Mr. Frasius, um, if you wouldn't mind yes. speaking with me in my office for a moment. Um, oh, of, of course. Ice is in trouble. Nothing of the sort. Just a matter I wish to speak with him in private. All of the rest of you are dismissed. Go and uh, well, enjoy the fact that you've had a mission well succeeded. Cool. Radical. Cool. Oh, uh, Claudius? Uh, I'm working mm. towards that, uh, thing you wanted to get to. Good to hear. Chris is the loot and walks off. If you'll follow me. Yeah, yeah, Lyra's follow gonna, go, Lyra gonna go float face down in the lake for a bit. Uh, you die. Cool. Wow. No, I can breathe water. No, you die. Anyways, um... Mm. So, guys, you are led across the campus into the building where Claudius has his office. You've been here before, but uh, it definitely feels like a more suspenseful walk, if only because Claudius basically doesn't say a word the entirety of the duration of it. Uh, there is basically just time to stew in your thoughts as to what he's going to say to you, the purpose of the meeting, and uh, such beyond that. Eventually, you are brought into the office proper as he gestures to the seat across his desk and uh, sits down in his own chair. Sit down. <laughs> if I may ask, well, what is it you want to talk to me about, sir? I suppose this is just a moment of a... Uh... Congratulations on a mission well accomplished. Be perfectly honest with me, guys. 
Uh, Did you have reservations heading out into the Kellands, believing that what you were assigned to do was too extreme? Truthfully, um, any reservations I had were more regarding if we were the correct people to perform such mission. Hmm. After Do all, you... I'm, there's plentiful forces of our own in the Kellands already. Certainly. Why do you think I chose to send a small band of students? You, of all. There's no wrong answers here, I'm just asking what you think. Well, not to be presumptuous, but... Well, us as well as... Um, I, f I forget exactly who was there in the first section when like, they had like the star students basically meet the Legati, but Gaius will sort of name off a couple of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I presume we're being tested for some sort of position. You are a bright fellow, yes. Well, to speak it plain, Mr. Phareseus, your loyalty is not in question, if that is what you are sitting there in cold sweat wondering about. Your compatriots, on the other hand, admittedly have worried me at points. While the young girl, uh, Mosfer, yes, Admittedly, her loyalty is not in question either. Well, I don't think it's a secret at this point that one of your compatriots came from the Kellans herself, and your other friends, Christmas and Lyra, are, uh, let's say, a bit lackadaisical as to their duty towards this empire. If I may say something, sir, when push came to shove, they performed admirably in the service of the Empire. And that is why you have been sent on the mission. To make sure that my trust was not misplaced. If I may jump topics eventually leading back to the point I was trying to make here. Do you know what my duty is as Grand Legatus? You command troops, device strategies, Beyond Eight. military. What is my role on the grand scale of this empire as it has stood for these last 500 years? As, aside from being a strong military leader, I suppose you and the other Legati are... Well, figureheads, in a, in a sense. Once again, you devise the right of it. You see, Gaius, my duty at the end of the day is simply put to be there to pass the torch to whoever is going to succeed me, to make sure there is an empire standing when he shall inevitably succeed me. I am not here to make this empire last for eternity, because that is a foolhardy mission. One day, all of this is going to fall. We are all, in essence, children building castles in sand on a beach, hoping the waves are not going to wash it away as we visit it. Well, with luck, these waves will come long after we have all we have both passed into the uh, loving embrace of the Great Creator. <sighs> Indeed. The point I'm trying to make here is he uh, stacks up a few solars into a small little tower and says, My duty is to make sure that things remain in a delicate balance until it is no longer my duty to make sure that that balance is maintained. Should it topple one way or topple the other, I am to course correct. And should you all continue in doing things as successfully as you all are, that job may one day pass to you. But if you all were to stray from your solemn duty, 
And from your path, well, it would be a shameful waste of talent. Believe me when I say, sir, every everything I've ever done and everything I plan to do is in service of the Empire, protecting it from threats within, like the dregs that dared to steal the Oracle, or without. Hmm. And if push came to shove, if you had to defy the will of those above you in order to save your empire, would you go against the chain of command for the greater good? Fug. I... <laughs> yeah, fug. No, I'm sure it's fine. Just answer honestly. Hypothetical question, Mr. Faracius. Don't freeze in your seat. I'm not asking this... you to do anything. Well, truthfully, I would hope that those above me would always have the Empire's best interests at heart. I would not have to face such a situation. Sometimes we are all placed into situations that we do not like to be, Mr. Faracius. The fiber of a man is when he is placed against impossible decisions he would never wish to be placed against. What he chooses to do, or what path he forges from there, makes him a great deal of a measure more of a man than those who would falter. Well, as I said, my goal in life is to protect the Empire from where whatever threats may come. So, those above you are not sacred. Well, just out of character, in terms of rank, Gaius is pretty, like, well, all of us would be, like, low-ish ranking, right? Pretty much. You're, like, oh. a little bit below a guy like Albus, whereas, uh, like, the, the, uh, the Canis, were they called? You would basically be kind of above them, just because of the right. standing of the academy you're in. It's, it's less a actual rank and more, like, you're more important because of your training and stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't remember the actual Roman word for it, but, uh, predetermined greatness or whatever it is. Well, sir, there are many people above me. While, as I said, I hope that they would all have a stronger duty as a, to the Empire as, as me, well... Sometimes those above you and their duty fail, guys. You... Almost make it sound like you're speaking from personal experience, so... <laughs> now is not the time for me to divulge my own history with you. Fair enough. In, a, in any case... If there were someone above me, then... There are countless others who are also above me who I have no doubt feel as strong towards the Empire as me that would also take umbrage to whatever they may choose to do. You're finding many myriad ways to not answer the question directly, you know that? <laughs> it's a complex question. Like I said, it's not indicative of anything, but not answering the question, I suppose, speaks to an indecisiveness. As I truthfully, it's hard to believe that any anyone who would serve this great country would secretly wish to do it harm. That's just the thing, guys. 
Sometimes those who believe they're doing the right thing are the ones who do the most harm. As one of our great emperors, Kaiser, once said, Ele acta est. The die is cast, and so he thought that his absolute rule was the best that there could be. Hmm. I'm, I'm out of character, I'm assuming similar thing happened to in the actual Roman Empire where there was a more democratic thing, but then it became a firm emperor in charge. Uh, yeah. An emperor was yeah. appointed a long time ago, but they had much more limited power prompt to that point. Right. Well, if nothing else... Actually, in terms of emperors, have there been more, like, good emperors than bad? Uh, I mean... 50-50 split? Uh, how many emperors have there been? Cassius is the 25th, so... Uh, it can go about half, yeah. Well... Whenever we are led astray, there's always those with vision and devotion to guide the Emperor back to the, the right path. Well, that's enough of my questions for you. You're free to go. Thank you, sir. Uh, guys will stand and uh, leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's who wants to do stuff while you're at the academy? Um, I guess Harriet will go find Marcus. Sure. Yeah, he's not especially far. He is a. Uh, he's just uh down by one of the training yards near one of the dummies. Not a. Not actually using it to train or anything. He's kind of just staring at it in kind of one of those spacing out moments. Interesting. Uh, Marcus? <laughs> oh, um. Harriet, uh. Hello? Hi. Um, it seems like you wanted to say something back there, but didn't. Is everything all right? I, uh... I just don't, um... Not particularly much of a fan of, uh... Bearing my emotions where... Others are wont to see. That's understandable. They can be overpowering sometimes. I... Is that all you were coming over here to speak with me about? Well, I just wanted to know what you were going to say. You couldn't say in front of the others. Uh, if it's too much trouble, don't worry about it. I'm sure you I... never will one day. I just, uh... <laughs> um, do you still uh, want to go to the promenade with me? Oh, oh, of course I do. What made you I, think uh, otherwise? Uh, momentary thoughts that are... Uh, I, um, sorry, I seem to lose track of my thoughts when I'm around you, um. Damn, oh, he's got sad. That's okay. That's okay. okay. He, he wants that 40 pants. <laughs> <laughs> lightning bolt, lightning bolt. I... Look, when we were in the forest and dealing with whatever that thing was out there, and at the camp, 
when I was brushing all of you off, I just... <sighs> Something in me thought that maybe... Mm. Something in me thought that perhaps you start, started thinking me back as the person I've been these past few years at the Academy, and well, you rescind your offer as soon as you came back. Didn't he ask me to go out after we did the um, uh, the Colosseum thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's when uh, Bjorn died. Yeah. Then why is he saying this about before the before he asked me out? Because uh, he thinks he'd think he's still a dick. Oh, okay. Um, well, because he because during the forest thing, you guys are trying to get him to open up a bit, and he yeah. kind of very much was brushing you all off. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can tell these kind of things are hard for you. And I know that deep down that you're a nice person. I know it might be hard for some people to see it, but I do think you're a good person, Marcus. Right. Um, are they going to... Uh, are they going to say anything to you if they see the two of us together there? Well, if they wish to say things, let them say it. I meant your friends. Yes. Will. If they have no will, again, I'll make things. between the two of us, then let them have their ill will. For it is their own issue, not ours. You certainly don't occupy yourself with the thought of others very much, then, do you? Never yeah. have. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful position to be in. It has its benefits. Um. I will let you get back to your training. Uh, certainly. And I'll let you get back to, um, celebrating a good victory. Of course. I'll see you around, Marcus. See you as well, Harriet. Harriet will be. Uh, you can hear a dull metal clanging as you get far enough away. And cool. then you can hear it repeated a short second after. Oh. He's got a metal cock he's jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. He's got balls of steel. That's weird. Which one of you other rat bastards are doing something? Uh, not to hog the limelight, but Damn. after his yeah. meeting, but, but to hog the limelight uh, after his meeting with Claudius, mm -hmm. uh, guy try and track down Vitrix to. Jeez, jeez, guys, why do you get two social links? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I said something, so. Uh, yeah, he'll try and track down Vitrix. Like the. He'll, like, I guess go down the list of places she she would be, starting with the infirmary, I guess. Yeah, she'd probably be there. Getting... Patched Bandages. Up. Hey. That's like Christmas. Hi. How are you, uh, holding up? Um... I'm fine, how are you? Good. I just wasn't sure if you throwing up was actually because of it, like you said, or, well, because of, well, what happened? Um, I don't, I don't know what that was. I don't know, it, it 
it just happens to me sometimes. That's concerning. <laughs> I mean, not often. It's just like. Do you usually have shared dreams where you pass out with somebody and see a vision of your own past? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So. That vision was weird. Yeah. I'm assuming that so, you've never brought someone along? No. That was certainly a first. I guess... Being there... You had some connection to the area? I guess. Hey. You're the first person in the team of the least met my, uh, father, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Both of them. Except one of them was a pile of burning corpse. <laughs> Oof. G G Fitrix, how come you have two... Oh. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft with the gadget voice? Hey, a free necklace. <laughs> well, good news is I don't think I don't think Claudius suspects anything. That's good. Though... He was asking me he, a lot of really weird questions. He... <laughs> he, he did ask... Um, more or less what I would do if... Someone above me was... Doing something that would go against the Empire. So I hope he's... Just trying to figure that out for his own benefit, he's not in on us being on to him. I don't know if it's necessarily him being on to us being on to him as it is. If the Oracle can see things like that, who's to say he can't too? Oh, the last thing I need to think about is Claudius being able to see the future. Him having epitaph. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just turned into part five. He's already five steps ahead of us. He doesn't need the advantage of being able to see our moves before we make them. Dealing with this would be so much easier if we actually knew what he fucking wanted. Mm. Not even what he, what he was. I mean, for all we know... What if he's a good person? <sighs> Are we the bad guys? We <laughs> go. <laughs> I, guys, I've what got if the Empire's skulls right? on my uniform. <laughs> what if... Is, is fascist cool? What what if the imperialist genocides are bad? No, that's crazy. I don't I don't think the Oracle would have told us the fate of the world hung in the balance if he was actually doing what he's doing for a good reason. The one thing that has from what I've heard, the thing about prophecies is they can be very specific in their wording. And she didn't tell us that the ruin would come if we defied what Claudius wants. Just what he told us to do. If he told us to do something he didn't want us to do, then not doing it is doing what he wants. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you just you're just tangling yourself up in knots there. This was so much easier when I didn't have to deal with the future as well as the present, and I guess also the past. The past, yeah. Uh, well, when you get your kid war criminals to start doubting themselves whether you're the bad guy or not, and you didn't even have to try. Apollo champ. <laughs> Look, we can spin ideas and theories about prophecies and the future all day. 
we should try and stick with what we know. Yeah. If we can figure out what the bigger picture is here, get the facts, we can figure out if Claudius is who he says he is, or what plans he has in store. Hopefully, at least. Mm. Well, once I get patched up, I'm gonna go s visit my family, my other family. Hmm. I figured that's what you meant. Mm. You, you say you had. Well, you did say that you wanted to speak with your father, so... If anything, that might help us... ...figure out... ...at least some small part of this... ...puzzle that's in front of us. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll... ...I'll let you rest up. Uh, as soon as you say that, a pebble tinks against the window, just outside. <laughs> Odd. Um, seeing as Geist is the, the one not bedridden, uh, he will go over to the window and open it. And uh, you, around. <laughs> you can see down, just below you, uh, quite an arm to get the pebble all the way up there, uh, is Zona, who is waving you down and says, Hey! Hey, you guys want to go chariot racing tonight? Um, I'll ask. Hey, uh, guys will, like, turn back Offer to... ain't open forever. <laughs> guys will um, turn back to Beatrix and go. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Zona's inviting us out chariot racing. Do you know how to drive a chariot? Only in the capacity that I, out of character, assume we would have learnt in the course of our studies here at the Academy. <laughs> Do you have proficiency in vehicles, land? Look, okay, it's just like driving a horse with more steps. Is it? Just like driving a horse with more steps. I mean, I've sure. driven a chariot, but... I mean, I suppose it's the same as the difference between riding a horse and racing one. Uh, sure, let's... let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? We, uh, get thrown from the chariot and break our spines. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, guy, guys will poke his head back out the window and, like, Give a thumbs up to Zona. Awesome. All right, meet me on the main grounds at about uh, I don't know when it's dark out. I'll meet you then. Got it. I I picked up his accent there for a second. It's the middle of summer in Helios. It's never dark out. This yes, is. Yeah, nighttime. I'm gonna go home. What happens when I get there? Nothing. Uh, go go away. There is another groundskeeper who is seems to have made a little bit of progress on the trimmed hedges before looking over and say, Oh, uh, lady of the house. Um, I heard you uh, came by the other day. I didn't think you'd be back so far. So see you, I mean. To see you. See you. Yeah, the mission went easier than expected. Um, congratulations then. I uh, guess you really are your father's daughter then. Wahey. I suppose why I is that a, am... Why is that a wahey? Because she's not. Are you saying adopted people aren't really... Okay. Yes. Just another Are prejudice you... to add to the pile, okay. Yes. I I mean, it's more a wahey because the, the mission literally involved her finding about her real family. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Um... Speaking of, where is he? Uh, 
I imagine he's in his office right now. He had a couple of things to write to uh, deal with his uh, campaigning for senator, but I imagine he'd be more than glad to have you for, for company. Wonderful. I'm gonna head up then. She will curtsy and lead the way to get you in. Uh, Master Ignatius, your uh, daughter is here to see ya. He, uh, you can hear a bit of uh, papers shuffling on the other side before you... Uh, yes, come in. I'll go in. Beatrix, you're, um, back already. Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? I... Right, I understand. I have something very important to ask you. Yes. What was Claudius after in that village ten years ago? I... What do you mean? The thing that he took off the head priest's body or... I... You were unconscious for that. How did you... Answer the fucking question. I... I had a vision. No. I... Right. Well, at the time, I admit <clears throat> I didn't really understand it myself. It was quite out of the way of most of our campaigns in the Kell Lands. You see, we were aided by a native of them who went on to become Legatus Antony, as you know him now. His advice was to strike some of the more populated areas, but if for whatever reason, Grand Legatus Claudius decided that this village was of some import, we... Well, you know what we did. You saw it. You lived it. And... As far as I remember, the only thing he wanted taken from that village was that necklace he took. I never saw the necklace itself again, but I've seen material that has to be the same as what he took off of it. They've... The Medici and some of the other doctors and scientists we have have started calling it a polycyte. From what I remember and what they've told me that's cleared to have been said with people of my previous military ranking. Theoretically, it could be a power source that could, well, outclass Dracart. Anything beyond that, unfortunately, is not mine to know. I could inquire with Claudius, but... No. I imagine you wouldn't want him catching wind. No, definitely not. There's... Everything in the Empire is... I guess it was always more complicated than we knew, but... It seems like it's... All coming to a head soon. I don't know. That's... Truth be told, Beatrix, that's why I retired from military service. Not because I felt my duty was over, but because I felt that the honor in that duty has long since been extinguished. Certainly, there were some places that became better due to the infrastructure of the Empire, but others, such as the Kell Lands, that I can't truthfully say to myself we've made any better. The more we the more we carve our sway through the rest of Horizon, the more I question why it's necessary. I understand prosperity through unity, the motto of our empire, but... Well... Claudius isn't going to tell you this, but... Well... He thinks there's been an information leak. <gasps> Gas. What makes him think that? 
The first time Claudius had mentioned to any figures whatsoever, aside from the other Legati, that we were going to restart the Gerland campaign was in front of your graduate class. And just as our first set of soldiers went out for the campaign there, they've been set upon by members of the Stag and his legion along the, well, along the military route there. Meaning the only way the Stag could know about it would be if... They're... Someone in the Academy had heard. It's not full proof, and it's not damning evidence, but... If he holds all of you to greater scrutiny, understand that is why. We were thinking that... The reason we were sent on that mission was a test of loyalty. That would explain it. Well, since you've succeeded, then you're off his radar, but... Be wary of your fellow classmates. As much as you may care about them as your friends, they may not all have the same interests or end goals as you in mind. Mm. Gee, ever... how do we know that likes to sell information? Does... That's racist elves. I- what? <laughs> Irving's an elf. Oh, he is. Oh, who cares? Fuck elves. <laughs> wow. Does I agree. Know anything about Around elves, watch yourselves. <laughs> yeah, fuck Around elves. elves. Oh, my you know, fuck elves. Lyra being racist. Does the Empire know anything about who... about the stag? Is it a man, a woman, a... human, a halfling? That's... Just the thing. Whenever the stag makes a public appearance, well, physical features tend to change from the description of our informant. Sometimes taller, sometimes shorter, sometimes the voice of a woman, sometimes a man, sometimes it's difficult to tell. From what we understand, either the stag never makes a public appearance, or has a vast network of impersonators to make sure that their identity is obscured. Ooh. If it were easy, if it were easy, we would have determined their identity a long time ago. That's true. I'll... I'll stay on my guard. Right. Well... Good luck with your campaigning. It's, uh, going about as well as it can. Good luck with the rest of your studies, and have fun with the promenade as much as, uh, you can in current circumstances. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the academy and go look for all the others. Sure. Lyra is still face down in the water. I'm gonna pull you out of the water. What do you want? Let, we're going to try it racing. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Who are we racing? Zona. Oh, cool. That's cool. Very cool. So yeah, once I've got, once I've got all the others. Uh, Very cool. Once I've got all the Very others. Very cool. And we're off the campus grounds or away from people. I'm just gonna look at them all and say. The stag might be a student. What? Well, okay. Oh, hey! He said, he said an informant for the stag. Or an informant. The who? The leader of the insurgency that's going on in Helios right now. Okay. A group of soldiers that were sent to Gerland got attacked. But the mm. first time that... The first time that the campaign was publicly announced was when the Grand Legati gave that speech here after hmm. after the year started. So the only way that someone could have known is if they were passed information by someone at the school. 
or out, out of character, who school. who did he give this speech in front of again? It was uh, all so, of our class, wasn't it? Or uh, all of our year. Ir Irving, Marcus, Matilda, Gareth, and Zona. Aside from the rest of you. Our team and their mm. Hmm. Gosh, I, I Who do we know that likes to settle information? Gosh, I wonder. I, I fucking... So you're it's saying... It's obviously Gareth. It's obviously Gareth. So, so you're saying that someone... Who was... Present. There... Present. That was present. Gave that information to... The insurgents. Mm. Like, I have nothing against him. But I mean... He's Irving, a dirty uh, elf. Ir Irving mm. does does like to sling rumors. He does. And he might But at the same time, elf. that might be a bit too obvious. Like if you're informing insurgents, you don't really want to be known for Yeah, they hired two red guys, <laughs> one of them to be a red herring. <laughs> oh god. The real killer was red the herring. But, I mean the real switcheroo. As much as you say that it's obvious that it could be him because he likes to sling rumors, Sona's father's a spy. For the Empire. Yes, but he he was raised by a spy. If anyone would you, know how You think he'd it. turn... You think Sona would... I mean... Well... Not to... Not to make his, you know, snap judgments, but he, is he isn't. He isn't from the Empire. He wears a cowboy hat. <laughs> he has a funny accent, and that makes me suspicious. Out out of all of our potential suspects, aren't most of them not from the Empire? <laughs> no, they're all from the Empire. I was gonna say the only other person who's not from the Empire it's is uh Alma. Were, were, Alma wait, and Felda. Were they even there? Uh, no. Yeah, so they're- Oh, was Alma not there? I thought she was part of no, the- No, Alma and Jelva are a, like, the year they are is graduating, so they're like a year below you. Yeah, okay. they, they, they were introduced like a session after, so. Yeah. Yeah, true. They're also from uh, Alahir, which is a what? vassal state to the Empire, but not part of the Empire itself. So, the only suspect that we have oh, that's- uh... So, Zona is <laughs> Zona's technically a foreigner and was raised by a spy, so he would know how to engage in espionage more than anyone. Irving s sells information as a fucking hobby, but... Aside from that, I mean... There's also, um... I mean, if you'd asked me, I wouldn't have picked any of them to... betray the Empire, so... Well, before I, you know... Well, technically, Matil, like, before like, Matilda's from an M... Yeah, sorry, yes, sorry. before we point out... <laughs> I think you guys are just accusing everybody at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not really accusing everyone, I'm just going through the list of who it could be. Yeah, before we point out that, um... You know, everything going on with Matilda's brother... Um... Let's just clear it up. It's not any of you guys, is it? I'm gonna look at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Why are you looking directly at me? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, what's of habit? Look at Lyra. Look at Harriet. <laughs> um. Nah, me. Look, I don't think if... Lyra's good enough of an actress to put put on this show of patriotism that she's been doing for the past fucking few years. If if Harriet devoted, uh, repost that Parks and Rec bit with a coffee mug. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at Ben. <laughs> if <laughs> glory cut, to, cut, to really? Beatrix. Really? cut to Beatrix, it was me. I'm the stag. <laughs> it was me all along. I've been uh, my guys, guys, is going to pop and say, well, if Harriet's devote enough to the Empire that even Claudius thinks she's not a potential uh, traitor, then I doubt it. Just in response to Christmas accusing the others before. 
Oh yeah, good news by the way. Claudius isn't as suspicious of you three and he's gonna nod to Beatrix, Christmas and Lyra. I guess the I guess See, I, I guess the Yeah, I guess the, the Ashes plan was the right move. Christ. Nice. I'm still I'm still hurt that you guys accuse me of like selling you guys out. Hey, I didn't accuse you. Beatrix accused you. Hey, I'm not accusing you of selling us out. Just some soldiers. And but don't take it personally. I just think that out of everyone here you're the most likely suspect. Oh. Oh boy. Well, well, yeah, soldiers how could, he, how could he ever take that personally? <laughs> These soldiers that got attacked, was was the bull with them? It couldn't have been, but... No, because the the bull hasn't been deployed to Garland, has he? No, uh, Jude is the legatus in charge of the Garland campaign. Right. Yeah, and, and yeah. there's nobody in our class who would have any motivation to kill him, that race traitor. What? This? <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Jude or? Jude. What did Jude do? When he was like seventeen, he was like, "Hey, you want to invade my country and kill all these people, and I can join the empire?" Oh. Um... Yeah, he would. He... <sighs> anyway, I just think it's important to clarify this because we are about to go race chariots with uh, Zona. Hmm. So maybe I should, you know. Ask some questions? No, out of everyone, you should be the last person <laughs> asking him questions. Oh my god, I, I'm naturally adept in deception! Can you read mine? <laughs> okay, look, I have a plus six in deception. That's a meta thing. Do you have the detect thought spell? I do not. Well, it would go off all the time because he's right next to Lyra. You mean he'd go off never? <sighs> yeah. So I guess we just, just schmooze up to him. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Though I mean, if he was raised by a spy, I doubt he's gonna crack to whatever we could throw at him. <laughs> I mean, I don't I'm pretty know. good at like I'm, I'm opening very people good up. At I'm very good at throwing. Okay, let's. I mean, okay. he's he's he he looks like a bit of a weedy bastard. I'm pretty sure I could throw him over a building. Okay, let's let's put physical uh, coercion on the back burner for the right. second. Mm. Unless we have a better plan. Gaius is gonna say the the Latin equivalent of "you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar," <laughs> whatever uh, that would be. Oh man, that's really good Latin, Gaius. Yes, mm. La flyus attractus garumus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. All you got to do is add think, US to stuff, and it becomes Roman. You know, some Apollon proverb to the same effect. You catch more dragon bees with thunder honey because all you got to do is add adjectives to thing adjectives or nouns to things and they become fantasy terms instead. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, yeah, you guys head over to the meeting spot where Zona is going to show up and say, "All right, so I got a nice little place. Uh, not rented out, but we're probably going to be the only ones who show up there." Nice. Sounds good. Uh, we're all gonna be splitting in teams of two, by the way. So one of you sorry bastards is gonna have to hook up with me. Sorry. Well, I mean, You're gonna look at Christmas. No one in. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go. I'm, I'm... About the race. I... Guys would have told the rest of the party. I was gonna say what? <laughs> no one like told her or came to get her. I, I assumed. I I just I, assumed that. I said I got everyone. All right. Okay. All right. Also, we would literally. Talking about Harriet. I mean, if you want to be left out, you can. Like, be. No, I mean, 
I, I mean, I, like, would, I just... wouldn't leave someone out and then just start dropping big, big lore reveals. No, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, Who could forget Dear stuff. Short Stack? Yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's bad enough Lyra technically <laughs> slept through the, the revelations on the short rest of the Kel mission, so... Listen, okay. She's Vegeta. She doesn't get revelations. So yeah, uh, Christmas is gonna like step up and like, uh, I'm guessing we'll go with you, Chief. Alright. I know just the place. Uh, follow me. We can get there on foot if you guys don't mind hoofing it. Fine sure. by me. Sure, yeah. Hoofing it. Uh, uh, during the like walk, he is. <laughs> he's. 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 He's that stupid to drop the hints. <laughs> um, he kind of turns around as he walks, still walking backwards. He says, You got like a big. A... Jeez, owner. <laughs> he's got a big stag shaped chariot. G, G Zona, if you got married, what do you think you'd go do on your stags night? So, uh, sorry for kind of grabbing you guys on short notice, but kind of feel like, you know, this might be the last year all of us get to see each other, and I kind of want to do something while you guys are on your off time and before the prom. No, that's right, fair. right, yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah, you know, there's a little camaraderie between friends, also the fact that we all kicked their asses back during that flag game. We did do that. Uh, yeah. During the walk, uh, you finally make it towards the... It's not, like, a coliseum coliseum, but it's it's definitely a big enough arena that, uh, it's got a big ol' rink, in, or not a rink, a track for, uh, horse racing made out of dirt. Uh, the clerk, who seems to have just switched out for the night shift over the last one, uh, looks over to Zona and just kinda nods and says, yeah, you're fine, head in. Says, thank you kindly. Alright, so, way things work here is we all get a chariot, we all get a conjured up steed, so you don't gotta worry about hurting no horses during this race. And, uh, first one to make a three laps is gonna win, and, uh, well, unless anybody shows up, I think it's just gonna be the three of our teams. Do people usually show up? Uh, I mean, it's the dead of night, so who knows. Uh, as you say that, uh, you see a robed figure who is very oh. tall and imposing compared to the rest of you step in and say, Hello! I would like to throw my hat into this rink! Wait a second. Old, sir. Please, Please tell, tell me. me. As you Please. all see a very large figure put down money to enter in. <laughs> I require no team. I am a one-man army by myself. It's hardly fair to let me on the track at yes. all. One or two of him. I'm seeing double. Uh, the Hello? figure walks past you towards the chariots to kind of look out and select amongst them. Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, hi, Christmas. Uh, who the heck are you? <laughs> I am a chariot race enthusiast. No one more. You've never seen me before in your life. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna need a name if we're gonna like you know race against you. <laughs> Theseus. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Uh, uh-huh, okay, uh, yeah, alright, hey, you know, I glad think to have you on board. I think, met, I think we might have met your brother. I have no idea what you're talking about, I've never seen you before, Lyra. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this is like a... Yeah, like, you know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, Ooh. well, that's cool. Glad we got that sorted out. Of course. Um... I mean, woman I've never seen before. <laughs> if you don't mind, I have a chariot to select. Yeah. Trying to bring back fan favorite characters. Fan favorite character, Christmas. I, wait, 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 sorry, I I, sorry, no, character. you've never seen this character before. I don't know. What yeah, you're no, it's a completely <laughs> new character. It's like Usopp, yeah. so big kink. Man, fuck the Apollo Empire. I just want to go. Into, I just want to go on adventures with this guy. You said that about Perseus. You can't just pick every new guy you meet and want to go on adventures. Same guy, shut up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Theseus is a completely different character. 
Yeah, they've got oh, completely right, different names. Two people can't I'm have... Sorry. One person can't <laughs> have two different names. That's impossible. I mean, according, according, to, according to Waffles, they can. It's impossible. No, it's, it's a completely different fucking character. Yeah, like, it, it is utterly impossible. It can okay. never happen. Zona's just going to give an awkward look between your two parties and say, So, uh, who's splitting up with who, then? Uh, I'm going with you, Zona. Alright. We got a, we got a name. Oh, uh... Lara, can you come up? Um... The Evil Weasels. What? No, wait. <laughs> huh? I, I said you want to team up. Not... <laughs> oh, I want to team, team name. Okay. Oh no! Yeah. I was talking about me and Jonah. <laughs> I was her really I confused why you just. Her eyes just roll black back and turn black and say evil weasels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Skyus. I thought you meant a name for our team. Because a name for our team should be Fish Fingers. <laughs> Sounds a little sexual. <laughs> oh. Oh I no! It's not it's not you, problem, listen, though. listen, listen, <laughs> listen, you pervert! Because his hands are got giant fingers, I, I, and I'm no, a fish. I, I get it. I get it. I, I know. Get it. I know. I get it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, Christmas. How about we go by rough and tumbleweed? Rough and tumbleweed. Sounds sounds like a plan, chief. Um, and it gives him like a slight nod. Supposed that uh, leaves the two of us. Truth. Yeah. Long and short of it. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. You look pretty I'm good. Slotted. Long and short. Sure. Yeah, pretty good. I thought I was thinking more. Uh. uh Biggie and Smalls. <laughs> no, oh. I. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. I'm trying to think of a, a good way to make the whole thing rhyme. What about the golden deer? I'm gonna give someone a look. Uh, I was, I was, I was trying to find a good uh, way of saying, uh, same class, uh, flat ass, fat ass. What about the Helios Heels? Uh, your, your kid. That sounds like a dumb name. Wait, we didn't find out the Mysterious Strangers team name. Yeah, what's his name? Uh. The Ship of Theseus. Obviously. The Shit of Theseus. Oh well, no, his, his team name is just The Ship. I ship it. His team has a the in it, that's how you know you're fucked. <laughs>